Let's start talking about how you can establish an effective business system for optimal operations and efficiency. When people ask me how I grew my business, other than people, I'd say systems. This was the biggest learning I had when I became a licensee of STI College and a franchisee of Chowking in Zamboanga City. I was amazed with the idea of STI growing to more than 100 schools at that time. I was more amazed when I learned how Chowking could duplicate itself to many hundreds of stores in the country to as far as the UK, the US, around Asia, and also in the Middle East. So systems. So I looked at banks and I realized that there is an Allied Bank in Far Far Holo Sulu. And Lu Shotan, the owner of Allied Bank, has never set foot on that branch. And with all the security threats in that place, I'm sure he will never be able to visit that branch in his lifetime. Yet, I'm sure he makes millions from that branch alone. So how does a small business owner start to work towards growing their businesses? Bella asked the right question. The way to start is really to establish an effective business system for optimal operations and efficiency. From what I've learned as a business builder, I shared with her five tips. And I'd like to share them with you as well. Tip number one, organize your space. Look around and examine your surroundings. Start by arranging your workspace in a neat and orderly manner. Start cleaning up and create designated places so you can easily find them when you need them. Having to look for them or to ask people for them takes a lot of time and effort. Make your life easier by organizing them in well-labeled drawers, boxes, and even rooms. But you won't be wasting time when you are looking for the important things that you need for your tasks. Tip number two, Create standard procedures. As your business grows, there will be many people doing things in their own ways. And this will create a lot of complexity and confusion in the workplace. So to make things easier for everybody, develop step-by-step -step instructions for common tasks and processes in your business. Tip number three, communicate clearly. Again, as the business grows, what will happen is that different things will have different names or terminology for different people. Add to it the regional dialects and accents as you expand to different cities and you'll have total chaos. At this point, even when you have processes that are uniform and standardized, you still need to make sure that you use clear and concise language when sharing instructions or discussing tasks with your team. Make sure everyone understands their roles and responsibilities to avoid confusion. Tip number four, use technology tools. What a blessing it is that there are so many technology tools that we have on hand now to make our lives easier. Even AI is an option that we can leverage on, right? And the ways we can use them keeps growing every day. So be sure to explore simple technology tools that can assist you with managing your business. Tip number five, regularly review and improve. Things change, people change, and technology changes. As an organization grows, even the organizational structure has to adapt to its growth. So be sure to schedule specific times to evaluate your business systems regularly. Identify any areas that need improvement or adjustments. And be sure to implement the necessary changes as soon as possible. And remember, implementing an effective business system takes time and effort. So don't be in a hurry. Be patient. Involve your team in the process and adapt the system as needed to meet the specific needs of your business. Once these systems are installed, things will flow more easily. People will be happier working for you and it will be easier for your business to grow your sales and your profits. Yeah.